for his fight. Uh, I like Cleverle. I like I like I like Nathan Cleverle. I think he's a good, good, exciting, quick, throw a lot of punches type fighter. Uh, are we gonna see a unification about between? The two? I, I think every division should be unified. I, I'm I'm always up. I mean I'm. I'm the poster boy in my era of unifying titles, all the way from 2001. Try to do it with the, you know, I'm, I think the second or third time being light heavyweight champion. Um, I, I, I always open that one champion and one weight division. It, it's, it's less confusing to the average casual fan, and you can walk into place and say, look, this is the Miami Heat, they are the NBA champions. You know, this is the, the Giants, they are the champions. You know, every sport, you know who the champion or who the champion is or are. Boxing is the only sport where, God forbid, not, you know, hoping it happens, but God forbid that you got four people in one room that got four separate middleweight or light heavyweights or belts. And can you imagine how confusing that is? You being a casual fan, not knowing the politics of it, saying that's the champion. Oh, well, wait, middleweight. And then you go two block, two steps later, middleweight champion. So you kind of like, wait a minute, I got three champions in one room. Some of those guys don't get the belts to earn them in the ring. Well, most of them earn them because you got to fight to get them. But how they got there, and you can't blame the fighter from being in it. See, listen, 99% of the fighters is not in control of the politics, right? So if you want to get your guy in the mix, the cash in, politics will make it happen, and they will make it happen to get him at least at number one and number two, so he'd be mandatory to get a shot. And so when he mandatory to get a shot, the manager, the promoter, they get to pay that. So you always remember, it's a payday for the manager, promoter, manager first, or advisor, whatever they call themselves, and then it's the fighter. Um, you, if that fight happens, if, if that fight happened, do you want it in the, what? If that fight happened, do you want it in the UK or here in the uh, USA? The UK? Yeah. Do you want If when I go to the UK, I don't have the mind going to the UK. I can speak a little French. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, listen, listen. Look, if financially it says, I'd be a fool not to go to England, right? Or if it's the same, whether I go to England or whether I fight here or anywhere in the States, then why would I fly nine, eight hours for the same money I can get around the corner? That's, that's bad hustling. You know what I mean? That, that just don't make sense. You know what I mean? Unless, I, you, know, unless you go there and it's beneficial and it's right. But... But if I go there, it would have to be a reason, and I had to be classified as a fool not to go. Because anything else other than that, I'm, it's a square ring, and it's me and him. And, and I, I fought at people homes town many times. I know yeah, you know that. To, uh, Canada, Canada. Canada. Would you be worried about the judges in the UK? No, we'll bring some of our judges. You know what I mean? We'll bring there, have a judge, we'll have a judge, and we'll have a judge on a borderline of, uh, you know, so, so, United States in here. So Bernard, I'm United States in there, excuse me. Bernard.